Welcome everybody to another What's Moving with D. I'm D and I'm here to tell you what's moving. Oh, Star Wars is still hot, guys. Here's a biker scout. Never been played with. Look, it's a little rubber band still holding his gun. $17.99 for the biker scout. And then over here we had two uh, ATST scanning crew pilot guys. Uh, we had, uh, I think 25 a piece and the guy said, I'll take two of them at 20 each. So that's 40 bucks for those two right there. Gotta love that. A Furby, a Furby from McDonald's, $14.99. I'll take that every day. Wow. We're selling a lot of these old Todd toy versions of McFarland figures. Every day we sell them McFarland. Uh, here's Badge Rock from Rob Liefeld's Youngblood. Let's see what Badge Rock's fetching right now. $8.49. We're going to raise the price on Bad Rock. People are starting to really love Bad Rock. Uh, let's get up here. We have a uh, Elena of Avalor. I don't know where this is from. Uh, I think it's from Coco. Uh, $11.99 on that one. Rocket and Groot. Baby Groot. $29.99 for that Q fig. Uh, here is a Qui Gon. More Qs. Uh, Qui Gon Gen. You put a little thing on his back and he, he basically was rock'em sock'em robots with a lightsaber. Uh, we got $14.99 on that one. Let's keep moving here. Uh, itty Bitty Thor and Loki. Itty 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 Bitty. So it's like those are half a itty. The, or, or a double itty. Uh, and those went for $14.95 for that set. That's from that Hallmark I bought out. Uh, here's a yellow Batman. <clears throat> yellow costume Batman Entertainment Earth from the Rainbow Batman series. $14.99 for that Funko Pop. Here is the Big Chap Xenomorph. This is actually pretty sweet looking. Look at that. Oh, yeah. $34.99 on the Alien uh, Funko Pop. Uh, here is a, yeah, X-Wing, Millennium Falcon, and Star Destroyer, Star Wars, Micro Machine Place at $20 on that one. Uh, those are a dime a dozen, so it's always good to get some money off of those. And here is a Webkin Pony, uh, $12.27. Bam. Here's another Barbie from that Barbie collection that we bought at the estate sale. $14 for that one. We got it for, I think, two or three bucks. Uh, here we go. Vulture droid with a little uh, scrapper droid thing there. Uh, $44.99. That's awesome. That's an awesome sale. Uh, over here, we got um, the micro machine. Well, this is micro change from Takara. This is from 1974. You can see there. These are the original stickers. I had a big bundle of these from a show I went to, and I bought them for like a buck a piece. And when you look at these, these are awesome. This is the original Transformers from 1974. This is a sticker sheet of them. $39.99 on those. We have a few more of those left in stock. And let's come over here to the Pokemon. Guys, just like yesterday, here's two Pokemon, Vileplume and Pidgeotto. We got $13.99 for the Vileplume and $8.99 for the Pidgeotto. Uh, here is a Klinger, not the uh, uh, MASH character in a dress. Uh, $6.99 on Klinger. Let's keep moving. Here's Fiber Jar. $13.99 for Fiber Jar from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, here's some Magic. We got some uh, Doppelgangers and a Fork. $14.99 for the Doppelgangers and $21.99 for the Fork. And I know we have lots of those. Uh, here's some more magic, Crusade, $8.49 for Crusade. All white creatures get plus one, plus one. I'm sure that's probably going to get banned eventually. Uh, Nico Bolas, God Pharaoh. This is one of the later uh, gold god cards. $20 on Nico Bolas. Let's get over here to, ma uh, to comic books. Oh, my God. Boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not, Power Rangers, number 25. I think that's Shattered Grid. Uh, that is $9.99 on that one. Hercules with a booty shot on that one. Hercules and Warrior Princess Xena. Uh, $8.50 on that one. Oh, Short Halloween. This was written by uh, Bill Hader, Seth Meyers, and uh, I can't, I don't know who that is. But this was uh, the hardcover edition, clearance by Marvel. Thank you, Marvel, for clearancing to retailers instead of dumping them at Ollie's. Uh, we got $29.99 for this. Bam. Punisher, The Ghost of the Innocents, nice prestige format right there. I get those for a buck a piece all the time. Jim Starlin writing Punisher, oh my God, $7.49. Here's Dark Side War, part two, Justice League number 42, $9.99 on that one. Spawn, number nine, first appearance of Angela. Every day we sell a McFarlane. 
today we sold two or three, I think. Uh, 1999 for spawn number nine, Angela. Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time number 16, 995. Cyber Force, Dave Finch covered, more bootylicious on this one, $7.72. Catwoman, oh my God, is that, wow. That is a 1966 Catwoman drawn by the one and only J. Scott Campbell, $24.99 for that one. Uh, is that Lee Merriweather? I can't remember. It's one of the one of the white cat women there. Um, Batman, Dark Knight of the Round Table, Elseworlds, thirty dollars, guys. Elseworlds is hot. Rick and Morty presents Mr. Meeseeks, number one, fourteen ninety nine on that one. Kylo Ren, number one. Luke versus Darth with the Palpatine watching, fourteen ninety nine for that variant. True Believers, Hulk Joe Fix It, $9.99 on that one. Hey, look at this one. Cobra Kai, Karate Kid Continue Saga, IDW, $14.99 for that one. Hmm, why is that in the uh, pile today? Oh, because Cobra Kai just started and season three is awesome already. Uh, and another one, we sold one of these yesterday. We sold a different one of these today. Blackest Night, Tales of the Dark Multiverse, number one, $10. We're definitely going to have to start looking at the prices on those. Guys, if you like what you saw here, go to wonderworldcomics.com slash Amazon. And you're going to see all of our items. And you can buy something. And you'll see it right here on another episode of What's Moving with D. I'm D. That's me. And I'll tell you tomorrow. What's Moving. Bye.